Well, what was it about blues? I, what was it? It's just the soul. That's always something that I try to impart to my students is if you're going to play it, you have to mean it. You have to play it. You have to really put your whole heart into it. I want to be able to shape the minds of people that are getting into music. I want to be able to sort of build that kind of legacy, you know, where, where, you know, hopefully my students remember me like long after they've done their last lesson. instructor of an Ottawa-based music school called Art Song Music. Welcome to Twin Talks, I'm Nadia. And I'm Nikki. And today Twin Talks is on location at Collab Space. And today we're going to have a great conversation with Mubarak Farah. Can you just tell the audience and us just a little bit about yourself? Certainly. So as I mentioned, I'm a piano instructor. I love music. I've been playing now for, I'd say probably about over 20 years. That's amazing. So when did you, you start? When did you start playing the piano? So I started playing the piano when I was about eight years old. Originally, I got into it because as a blind and visually impaired person, I was unable to play the sports that, you know, that my siblings could play. And I wasn't able to do those things. And so I found, you know, my comfort mm -hmm. in music. My family originated from uh, Somaliland. We didn't really have a lot, but my dad brought with him a bunch of cassette tapes. We would kind of have our bonding time, you know, I, he, he would, you know, he'd be just relaxing after a long day, mm -hmm. you know, and, and I'd be sort of, you know, curled on the floor at his feet <laughs> and we'd be listening to uh, Somali music together. And that, that was sort of our thing. That was kind of our, you know, our, our time together. To this day, you know, when we see each other, yeah. you know, we'll still listen to tunes, you know, sometimes we, we don't really have to say much. <laughs> we usually just, just let the music kind of speak and and it's great and and so he he kind of he instilled that love of music in me and then and now uh, it's sort of full circle because i want to instill that love of music in in others i love that so you mentioned your piano instructor mm -hmm. so why the why the piano like why not the guitar the trumpet or what what does the piano do for you so one of my professors joked that uh, the piano is probably the easiest instrument to learn. It's it's the it's the instrument for dummies. It is? <laughs> That's not what I heard. I don't know. <laughs> I don't no, know about that. I, I, I'm kidding. I, I'm kidding, of course. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you can cut that out. <laughs> <laughs> um, but it is a pretty, I mean, it is, you know, the, the, the keys are all laid out for you. You know, it's, it's, it's easy to understand once you get the, once you get the hang of it. The guitar, you have to work with frets and a, yeah. a lot of the times it's, it's just, with the piano, you play, you play a key and that's the note you get. Then yeah. you play the next one and that's the <laughs> note you get. And, and it's just very straightforward. I found it so easy to play that I was able to play along with the tapes that my dad wow. and I would listen to. So it, it, it all just kind of started from there. So I, I just wanted to ask, because you mentioned that you have, you, you, you're blind, but mm -hmm. I tried to learn the piano mm -hmm. and, you know, I just remember going into my lessons, right? Yeah. And they have, you know, the sheet music in front of you and you're trying at first, you know, to line up, you know, your C with the C that's written out in front. 
Now, since you don't have that, how did your teachers uh, accommodate you? You know, that's a great question. I learned by touch. Yep. And by ear. Now, with regards to touch, my teachers were able to accommodate me because they taught me kind of the, the spacing between the keys. Right. Yeah. They were able to teach me the layout of the piano and, and how the keys on the piano were like, were, were kind of, were spaced out. So usually what I do is I use those black keys as sort of a guide to find the other keys on the piano and the, okay. like the other notes. What I'm hearing is that the piano and the music was your company. Like it, it, it provided you a lot of um, comfort. So when you were in high school, were you in a band? Did you, did you see comfort through band and music in that capacity? Yeah, I was involved with talent shows. I played in the school band. Like I was totally an arts kid. I love it. Yeah, um, so was and I. And <laughs> I really got into the blues in high school. Uh, I love blues music to this day. It Who is... was your inspiration? Um, in terms of blues music, I'd say probably B.B. King, you know, Ray Charles, uh, you know, going all the way back to like the 30s and 40s, so like Lead Belly and Robert Johnson uh, and a lot of those Delta blues guys. Well, what was it about blues? It's just the soul. That's always something that I try to impart to my students is if you're going to play it, you have to mean it. You have to play it. You have to really put your whole heart into it. I want to be able to shape the minds of people that are getting into music. I want to be able to sort of build that kind of legacy, you know, where, where you know, hopefully my students remember me like long after they've done their last lesson. You know, yeah. and they're like, hey, I'm going to call up my old teacher and see if he wants to go for lunch. <laughs> you know? So how long has your uh, business been running and who is the clientele? Is it young kids? Is it teenagers, adults, or is it everyone? So my business has been running now for the past five years. Uh, we're a music school that offers uh, piano lessons to children uh, and adults, so anybody ages five and older. I started the business because I just wanted to shape the minds of people. I wanted people to, to learn music. I wanted people to understand how music works, the theory behind it all. And um, I also just wanted to build something for, for myself and for my family and, you know, put together a, what, what will one day hopefully be a family business. I love that. And a, a legacy. and. That's why I got into it, and that's why I will continue to do it. Because you have uh, people of different ages, you have children, mm -hmm. you have teenagers, you have adults, mm -hmm. um, what is your price range? And is there a time range? Do you go for 20, 20. minutes with the five-year-old? or How does this work? The way it works is I have a, a um, we're very flexible, I have a three price uh, package uh, so three price packages that um, students and parents can choose from. It is $25 uh, for a weekly half hour Very lesson. Very reasonable. $30 for a weekly 40 minute lesson. And then if they want to go the full hour, it's going to be $40 for the uh, weekly um, hour long lesson. And students and parents typically pay in monthly four-week blocks. What makes your business or your teaching different than just another music teacher? Like, so why are you, why would people come to you more than anyone else? I think we have an edge here at Art Song Music. We, we tailor lessons to meet the, the needs of any type of student. It's the versatility and the accessibility. I think that's what gives art song music an, ed uh, an edge over, over our competitors. You know, how can you be contacted? Could you tell us how, how, if I wanted to be your student, where would I go to find you? So you would go to www.artsongmusic.ca and that, that's, that's the website and you fill out the contact form. And then, um, you know, just letting me know that you're interested in lessons or 
Maybe you just want to drop in and say hi, <laughs> whatever the case may be. And I will get in touch with you. That's amazing. This has been an amazing interview. You're very inspiring and um, I would come to you like I wish I had you for my music teacher, um, but I'm not saying it won't happen one day. I'm I'm sure will come. Happen. I'll be the I'll be the one that calls you and says I'm coming back for piano lessons. You better have patience. So. I hope you like this episode of Twin Talks. If you like <laughs> us, please like us on our YouTube channel, Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. See you next time on Twin Talks. Booyah! Uh, we're on location today, and we are going to have a great conversation with founder and piano instructor, Mubarak Farah, founder of Art. Oh. Oh, Take two. Okay, hey, this better not show up on her. It will be on the out. <laughs> oh, <I don't> <laughs> we haven't been on TikTok. We are on TikTok. We are? We do? No? <laughs> oh my lord, have mercy, I'm sorry. <laughs> you can cut that out. <laughs> <laughs>